Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Jess Chillin' About. Today I'm going to be making a caramel cheesecake which I'm so excited to do. I've never in my life made a cheesecake before so this is going to be trial and error. I have no idea how it's going to go um, but if you're excited about it then make sure to keep on watching. So the reason I'm making this cheesecake is actually as a birthday cake. It's Kiriana's birthday today and we're going to Trav's parents tomorrow to celebrate. Um, so I figured I would sneakily make a cheesecake and bring it along. She loves caramel. I don't know why I decided to make a cheesecake. Like I could have just made a normal cake, but I was like, let's make a cheesecake. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how I make it. The recipe is not mine. I will link it down below. It is by Just a Mum. So make sure to go check it out if it turns out nicely anyway, which I'm sure it will. Um, and yeah, so here's the ingredients. All right, so to start with, you're gonna need 500 grams of Philadelphia cream cheese, or just cream cheese. Um, I was advised to get the block cream cheese instead of like the spreadable cream cheese. This has been like whipped already, whereas, I don't know, it makes the texture better if you use the block. Um, you need a thickened cream, not your regular cream. This took me ages to find, and you need, uh, shit, where is it? You need half a cup of that. Um, next is butter, melted, 125 grams. Good old vanilla essence, one teaspoon. I'll probably do more because who, honestly, oh, you can't see that, ever only does one teaspoon of vanilla essence. It's just too good. So the recipe says to use one block of caramel. Um, I have been told from someone who made it that they, if they were to make it again, would use one and a half. I'm still undecided as to whether I'll do just one or one and a half because there is a fair amount of sugar in this already so I might actually just keep it as one. Um, and then you're going to need half a cup of caster sugar and one packet or 250 grams of um, biscuits. So they used super wine, I'm using a vanilla wine just for like a vanilla -y base. And, oh and you're going to need to line your, what's this thing called? container -y thing. Now I suck at lining shit so I have no idea how I managed to get that to clamp in on my first try. I wasn't going to film it because I was like that's just going to make me like <laughs> get really angry but it worked. And also this is my first time ever using a food processor. Let's see how that goes. We've had this I'm not going to lie for like three years and I've never used it. Um, another tip for the cream cheese. Yes the containers over there but the cream cheese is actually here they said to make sure that it's room temperature before you start so I took that out earlier and I've kind of let it I don't know cool down slash warm up room temperature I don't know but anyway first step is to melt 125 grams of the butter no it's not I lie it's to crumble this up in this so let's do that all right so I'm going to add the biscuits in here and then I'm going to um, blend it all together on second thought, I might start with like half and then add more after because they don't fit. I seem to just be like re-blending the bottom half and it's not getting the big bits in. I'm just, I'm just going to keep trying. Alright, so that is well and truly done. Now I need to get 125 grams of my butter, melt it and add it to this mix. My melted butter time to add it to my biscuits all right so that didn't quite mix as well as I thought it would so I'm actually just gonna put it in a bowl and hand mix it combine it together and then we're gonna put it into our what is it called why can't is it just a it's not a tray dish tin tin let's go with tin Alright guys, so I think that this is combined enough. Now I'm going to put it into the tin, that's what we decided to call it, and I'm going to compress it as hard as I can um, because basically if you don't then it's just going to crumble, so hopefully this doesn't crumble. Um, another tip is also not to bake it if you're doing a no-bake cheesecake because apparently it just goes soggy. And also another tip is that once we do put that in here we should put it in the fridge for at least 10 to 15 minutes for it to cool down and kind of like set before we add the filling which should be no problem because I'm sure it's going to take me a while to do the filling. But yeah so let's fill the tin. Why am I struggling with that? What the heck? So that is the base done. I used a 
just a glass to help me flatten it down. So now I am going to go and put this in the fridge until we're ready to add the filling. Okay, so while that's chilling, we're going to add the cream cheese, the vanilla essence, and the caster sugar together. And I've heard, or not heard, I've read on multiple different websites that you should um, blend it more than what you think you need to. I have no idea what you need to because I've never made cheesecake so I'm just gonna like whisk it together and then I'm just gonna keep whisking and basically everywhere I read it said that it should be um, silky, velvety, extremely smooth like so I'm just gonna keep going until it's like that and hope that that's enough and then maybe do an extra one to two minutes because Apparently that's what you're supposed to do. So, let's combine them and see how we go. Alright guys, so hopefully this is creamy and satiny enough. I really don't know. Um, but it kind of looks like cheesecake mixture, so I'm just going to hope that it is. Um, now we've got to get the caramel, chop it up and melt it down. Alright, so we now have our cream cheese mixture, our thickened cream and our melted chocolate. So now we've just got to, um, it does say fold it all together but then the recipe did say that she used a food processor on a low setting. Um, so I might just use this on a very low setting um, and hope that I don't ruin it. Alright guys, so now I have everything combined in here. It looks really good. It smells amazing. I think it's going to work. I'm pretty happy about this. So let's put it in the um, on top of the base. Right, here is our beautiful base. Let's just... Put this mixture on top and hope that I don't drop it. Alright guys, so here is the final cheesecake. I'm so happy with how it's turned out. I feel like it's gonna work and I was a little bit OCT and I tried to get it like fully flattened as much as I could. Um, but I know that you can't really get it nice and flat, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. don't know why I keep putting it down. Um, but yes, I'm going to put this in the fridge and I will film some clips tomorrow when I take it out of the tin so you can see whether it actually worked or not. Um, but yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new and you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And let me know in the comments below, what is your favourite type of chocolate? I've used caramel, I think that's my favourite at the moment. Um, but yeah, what's your favourite type of chocolate? Let me know and yeah, now you can see how the cheesecake turned out. Alright guys, so I figured I'd just film this tonight. Hopefully it turned out alright. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you.